All right, this is the final game next up now of part one of our bowl previews here on this edition of Hitting the Books, Wednesday, December 27th, Texas Bowl, NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas A&M, Oklahoma State, uh, A&M three-point favorites, 53, 53 and a half the total uh, here in this game. Uh, this is There's a lot to dissect here uh, in this one. First of all, for um, A&M, you know, you look at the situation for them, there's a lot of uh, moving parts. Jimbo Fisher, of course, um, let go uh, late in the season. Wegman out for the season with injury. And Max Johnson uh, for uh, A&M hitting the uh, transfer portal as well to North Carolina. Uh, Max Johnson on his way there. And they've got a bunch of opt-outs here. Uh, Bobby Petrino, uh, you know, is now the OC at Arkansas with Jimbo Fisher fired. It looks like Colin Klein uh, will replace Bobby Petrino as the OC here for A&M. Uh, Elijah Robertson is going to be the interim coach for the bowl game. Uh, and he was just recently hired at Syracuse as the D.C. So it's a, one of those situations. Are you preparing if you're Elijah Robertson to a and for their bowl game? Or are you thinking about your new job now, Syracuse? You're probably thinking about your new job uh, at uh, Syracuse. So, again, this is just not a fluid, cohesive coaching situation right now for A&M at all uh, going into this uh, bowl game here uh, against um Oklahoma State, and they've got a bunch of opt-outs, including a couple of uh, players in the uh, secondary, a uh, pass rusher, uh, multiple players in the secondary opting out for uh, A&M. And there could be more because I'm hearing mm-hmm. that um, there's about five that are on the we might opt out list, including uh, three on d- defense. So that's concerning here for uh, Oklahoma State. Meanwhile, you look at Oklahoma State and they've got one guy in the transfer portal, Blaine Green at receiver. And other than that, everybody's here. Everybody's present uh, for this bowl game. Look, Oklahoma State didn't play great down the stretch. They kind of peaked midway through the season. And then they ran out of gas late. Uh, they lost to UCF. Um, you know, they did beat BYU, but barely unimpressive. And then they got blown out by Texas in the Big 12 championship. But Gundy's good in bowl games. Gundy's good in the underdog role. And this A&M situation's all over the map. And it looks like Jalen Henderson is going to have to be their starting quarterback here for a uh, and in this game with Max Johnson transferred out. And of course, Wegman uh, obviously injured long ago and out for the season. We'll see how he fares here. You know, he didn't play that bad, actually. Six touchdowns, two interceptions. We know Oklahoma State's defense hit or miss. I still like Oklahoma State. I think from a side perspective, they're in the more fluid situation. Maybe a little more enthusiasm for the bowl game here than a A&M team that kind of flatlined, you know, in the second half of the season at times. Oklahoma State for me, plus three. And I think this game could get over the total. Now, the concern is Jalen Henderson. How effective can he be? Well, he was pretty solid down the stretch. I think Oklahoma State, with all the opt-outs for A&M, and a lot of them are on defense, you know, Oklahoma State's going to be able to move the ball with Alan Bowman and company at quarterback for them as well. So, for me, it would be Oki State and the over in this game. What do you think here, C-Mac? Yeah, the last few days I looked at was this total. I know I was watching that horrible the defense was against Texas. But it kind of was that, especially after the Oklahoma game, we talked about it before that game, but like they got some turnovers and obviously it was Bedlam, huge game. They win it, but the defense just went to shambles and it looked horrible against Texas. They couldn't, they didn't stop them at all on third down, fourth down, not fucking one time, <laughs> the whole game. I liked what Henderson did watching that game against LSU. I thought he was pretty good. He had a pick and I think he'll be able to move the ball here in this one i think this could get over too this is one to wait a little bit who's in you talked about all the all the players going to be out on defense for AM. and yeah i think you take the points you just take oklahoma state maybe money line here uh with gundy as a dog here in bowl season i wouldn't want to lay points with AM right now no doubt with all the coaching they got going on yeah, yeah. instable coaches in coaches out coach that's already been hired at syracuse as a DC is now the interim coach for this bowl game. So I don't think he's that interested, honestly. Like I said, his focus now is my next job, my next opportunity where I've been hired, not necessarily where I'm on my way out. So like, it's just it, situationally. Now we know Oklahoma state's not as talented as a and M in terms of the recruits and the athletes on the field. But I think in this spot, Gundy coaches him up, you know, fluid situation for Oklahoma State, much more fluid than AM. Getting the points with them is worth a look. And like I think, I also think, like you said, C Mac, we can see more points in that game than this total currently indicates. 